Barbara loves funny stories. She loves to hear them, she loves to tell them, and she especially loves to see people laugh at her stories. One sunny afternoon, Barbara decided to share a particularly amusing story she had heard at school with her mom. She animatedly recounted every detail, using her best comedic timing and gestures to enhance the humor. When she finished, Barbara eagerly looked at her mom, expecting to see a big smile and hear a hearty laugh. But to her surprise, her mom just smiled politely. Mom, why aren't you laughing? That was a funny story, Barbara said, feeling a bit deflated. Oh, I'm sorry, honey, her mom replied gently. Sometimes you think something is funny, but someone else might not find it funny. Barbara felt a bit confused and disappointed. She had been so sure that the story was hilarious. She pondered over her mother's words, wondering how it was possible that what seemed so funny to her didn't have the same effect on her mom. Determined to find someone who would appreciate her humor, Barbara decided to tell the same story to her younger sister, Emily. Emily was six years old, with a bright, bubbly personality and a contagious laugh. Barbara found her in the living room, playing with her dolls. Emily, I have a funny story to tell you, Barbara said, sitting down next to her. Emily looked up, her eyes wide with excitement. Tell me, tell me, she exclaimed. Barbara launched into her story once more, using the same animated gestures and lively expressions. This time, she noticed that Emily was hanging on to her every word, her eyes twinkling with anticipation. When Barbara reached the punchline, Emily burst into giggles, her laughter filling the room. Barbara couldn't help but join in, feeling a sense of triumph and joy. You really liked it, didn't you? She asked, still laughing. Yes, that was so funny, Barbara, Emily said, hugging her big sister. Tell me another one. Buoyed by her sister's reaction, Barbara spent the next half hour telling Emily more funny stories. Each one was met with more laughter, and Barbara felt her confidence returning. It was clear that Emily genuinely enjoyed her humor, and that made Barbara very happy. Later that evening, as the family gathered for dinner, Barbara reflected on what her mom had said. She realized that humor is subjective, and just because one person doesn't laugh doesn't mean the story isn't funny. It just means that different people find different things amusing. After dinner, Barbara's dad asked if anyone had any interesting stories to share. Emily immediately piped up. Barbara told me the funniest stories today. You should hear them, Daddy. Barbara blushed a little but decided to share one of her stories with her dad. She launched into another one of her favorite funny tales, hoping for a good reaction. Her dad listened intently, and as she reached the punchline, he chuckled and smiled warmly at her. That's a good one, Barbara, he said, giving her a wink. You've got a real knack for storytelling. Barbara felt a warm glow of pride. Even though her mom hadn't found her story funny, her sister and dad had enjoyed it, and that was enough for her. She realized that making people laugh was a wonderful feeling, and she wanted to keep honing her storytelling skills. Over the next few weeks, Barbara continued to collect funny stories from school, books, and even her imagination. She would share them with her friends, her family, and anyone who would listen. 
Sometimes people laughed, sometimes they didn't. But Barbara learned to appreciate all the different reactions. One day, she decided to write down her favorite stories in a notebook. She filled the pages with jokes, funny anecdotes, and even drew little illustrations to go along with them. It became her special project, and she loved adding new content to it. Her mom noticed her dedication and suggested, Barbara, why don't you share some of your stories at the next school talent show? I'm sure many kids would love to hear them. Barbara felt a flutter of excitement. Do you really think so, Mom? she asked. Absolutely, her mom replied, giving her an encouraging smile. You have a gift, and it's meant to be shared. With her family's support, Barbara decided to go for it. She practiced her delivery, worked on her timing, and even asked Emily to be her audience for practice runs. When the talent show finally arrived, Barbara stood on stage with her heart pounding but a big smile on her face. She started with one of her favorite stories, the one that had made Emily laugh so much. As she told the story, she saw smiles spreading across the faces of her classmates and teachers. When she reached the punchline, the room erupted in laughter. Barbara beamed with joy, realizing that she had found her audience. The experience taught her that while not everyone may laugh at the same things, there are always people who will appreciate her sense of humor. She felt proud of herself and grateful for her family's encouragement. As she left the stage, she saw her mom, dad, and Emily clapping and cheering for her. In that moment, Barbara knew that no matter what, she would always find joy in making others laugh. Barbara continued to pursue her passion for funny stories. After her success at the school talent show, she gained a bit of local fame. Her classmates often asked her to share her latest funny tale, and even her teachers occasionally requested a story to lighten up the mood during class. One afternoon, Barbara decided to visit her grandmother. She loved spending time at her grandmother's house, where she always felt warm and welcomed. Her grandmother was an excellent cook, and the aroma of freshly baked cookies often filled the air. Barbara had a new story she was eager to share. When she arrived, her grandmother greeted her with a big hug and a plate of chocolate chip cookies. They settled in the cozy living room, and Barbara began to tell her latest funny story. Her grandmother listened with a twinkle in her eye and a smile on her face. When Barbara reached the punchline, her grandmother laughed heartily, her laughter rich and warm. That was wonderful, Barbara. You've always had such a talent for storytelling, her grandmother said, patting her hand affectionately. Encouraged by her grandmother's response, Barbara felt more confident than ever. She spent the rest of the afternoon sharing stories and listening to her grandmother's tales from her own childhood. It was a perfect day, filled with laughter and love. Back at school, Barbara decided to start a storytelling club. She wanted to create a space where other kids who loved stories as much as she did could come together and share their favorites. The club quickly became popular, and soon they had a regular group of enthusiastic members. Each week, they would gather in the library, and everyone would take turns sharing their stories. Some were funny, some were scary, and some were heartwarming. Barbara loved seeing her friends' creativity and hearing the different types of stories they brought to the table. 
One day, the school announced a storytelling competition. Barbara's club was excited, and they all decided to participate. They spent weeks preparing, practicing their delivery, and giving each other feedback. Barbara worked on a new story, one she had crafted especially for the competition. It was a funny and heartfelt tale about a mischievous dog and the adventures it had in the neighborhood. When the day of the competition arrived, Barbara was nervous but ready. She took a deep breath as she stepped onto the stage, looking out at the audience filled with her classmates, teachers, and even her family. She started her story, and as she spoke, she felt the familiar joy of sharing something she loved. Her story had everyone in stitches, laughing at the dog's antics and the unexpected twists in the tale. When she finished, the applause was thunderous. Barbara's heart swelled with happiness, knowing she had brought joy to so many people. The judges announced the winners, and Barbara was thrilled to hear her name called for first place. She accepted her trophy with a big smile, feeling proud of her accomplishment. After the competition, Barbara's friends from the storytelling club congratulated her. They all agreed that the competition had been a great experience, and they were eager to continue sharing stories with each other. Barbara's love for storytelling continued to grow. She started writing down her stories and even illustrated some of them. Her parents encouraged her to keep pursuing her passion, and her teachers praised her creativity and imagination. Years went by, and Barbara's collection of stories grew. She decided to compile them into a book, hoping to share her love of storytelling with a wider audience. Her family supported her dream, and with their help, she published her first book of funny stories. The book was a hit, and Barbara received letters from readers who enjoyed her tales. She was invited to schools and libraries to read her stories to children, who laughed and clapped, just as her family and friends had done. Barbara realized that her love of funny stories had brought her so much joy and had also allowed her to bring happiness to others. She continued to write, to tell stories, and to share laughter wherever she went. For viewers and readers out there, Barbara has a question for you. What is your favorite funny story or joke that always brings a smile to your face?